Hello everybody, I'm excited to share with you our latest project called Beaver Themer, a theme building add-on for Beaver Builder. With Beaver Themer installed, you'll see a new item in our Builder admin menu called Theme Layouts. Theme Layouts allow you to build things like 404, archive, headers, footers, single products and posts, and a concept that we're calling uh, Theme Parts, which is basically a layout that can be hooked into different areas of your site like above your header or of your above your posts and things like that. So to show you what theme building looks like, I'm going to go ahead and create a new theme layout for my posts. And I'll choose a single layout. And when you create a theme layout, you get some options based on what type of layout you're creating. Um, standard ones are location and users. So for location, I have things like I can ch choose to show this for all single, single post types, or I can choose individual post types like single posts or single pages and things like that. Um, so for this one, I'm going to go ahead and choose to have it show up for all my posts. I could even add more rules where, you know, maybe I want it to show for this post and I want to have it show for this post. So now this layout's only going to apply to those two posts. But for the purpose of this demo, we'll have it apply to all posts. And then for the user settings here, I can go ahead and choose that maybe I only want this layout to show for logged in users or only for logged out users or by role. So that could be interesting for things like headers. Maybe you want to make a special header for only your logged in users or only your administrators, or maybe you only want a banner to show for logged out users trying to get them to sign up and things like that. So there's some pretty powerful settings there. So once you have your settings set, you can go ahead and click the edit theme layout button and you'll jump into the building experience that you're familiar with but there are some new things and you'll see that we with theme layouts we pre-populate the layout for you based on the type of layout that you created. One of the new things you'll see is this preview as button up here since these theme layouts are technically not you're not editing the actual post or the actual archive we need to be able to bring some data in for you to see what it's going to look like so you can actually come and if and choose like if I was uh, editing products you know I'd see products here or if I was editing an archive I'd see different archives here um, but since I'm editing for single posts I can see all my posts and choose one of these that I want to preview it as so right now I'm just previewing it as this lorem ipsum post there's another new concept um, with theme layouts called field connections and field connections allow you to hook up different uh, data to the fields within your modules in rows. So for example, in this row here, you'll see that the background photo is actually connected to the featured image for the post. Uh, I'll go ahead and just remove this so you see what that looks like. Here's our standard photo field. And if I go ahead and click that button for the field connection, I'll see that I get different connections based on what the field is. So for example, this is a photo field, so I'm seeing photo connections. If I had a text field, I'll see text connections, etc. So I'm going to go ahead and choose that <clears throat> and save it. And now my row background is connected to the featured image. Same goes, like I said, for text fields. I have this heading module, and you'll see that I have connections available here and here. Uh, this URL can actually be connected to a few different things. And same for the actual heading. Um, text can be connected to a number of different things. And you also see that we have this insert here for text fields. And what that allows you to do is it actually allows you to insert a connection short code. And that's useful if you want to mix text and connections like that. And now you see I have static text along with a connection there. And as I scroll down the page, you'll see that different parts of the post are editable with Beaver Builder. So you could do all kinds of different layouts with this. And we also give you some modules as well um, that are specific to posts. Or if you're editing an archive page, you'll get archive modules. If you have WooCommerce installed, you'll get some WooCommerce modules and things like that. So once you're finished, go ahead and publish your changes. 
And now let's pop on over to our uh, one of our posts. And as you can see now, this post is picking up that theme layout that we built. And just to show you what that looks like without the theme layout on, I'm going to go ahead and turn it off. So just remove that location. You don't need to actually delete it. And refresh the page. And you'll see it now that it's back to my default theme layout. So that's theme layouts in a nutshell. Before we go, I'll go ahead and show you a few more things. One of the cool things, like I said, is that you can also do WooCommerce um, product pages with the theme builder. So you'll see this uh, entire product page here is editable with the theme builder. And you get you know your different modules and field connections and all that kind of stuff for WooCommerce as well. Um, you'll see that we have archive pages, so you'll see we can actually edit this archive layout with the uh, post module. And we have some different uh, settings in here for WooCommerce. Um, and we've also beefed up this module. So there's different, more styling settings and things like that as well to build some customized uh, archive layouts or product layouts and things like that. And finally, you'll see that I can do things like edit my header as well. And I also have a footer that I can edit here. And you don't have to build all these different parts with the theme builder. That's the beauty of it. You can pick and choose what you want to actually create with Beaver Themer. You can leave some stuff up to your theme and override it with Beaver Themer as needed. So that's an overview of our new project, Beaver Themer. We will have more videos coming out and be sure to check out the knowledge base as well as we'll have documentation coming out for that as, there as well. Thanks for watching.